who would ever think that some crazy folks down in New Orleans would come out and be so excited about the opening of a grocery store. Circle Foods has been in Treme since what feels like forever. Circle Foods is absolutely what we identify with as a traditional grocery store or the, if not the, traditional grocery store. The building is actually from the original St. Bernard Market, like the building from 1854. Mr. Herbert Bibrell, he was a he was a vendor at a market. He had the means and the finances to buy the entire market. He called it Circle Food Store and got incorporated in 1938. And uh, he had it. Then my dad came over, he taught him everything, and they started down to me. Pre-Katrina, they would have seen a number of folks who would have gone in and ordered and would have purchased baskets full of food. In this community, in this area, it's uh, it's really low income, you know, it's, it's hard for people in this area, so a few people don't have transportation, you know, a few people up close. Most of my customers, you know, surrounded in maybe a six block radius. Uh, it's easier to get fresh food instead of going to fast foods or the corner stores and just getting unhealthy things like that. So we try to keep fresh produce, fresh meat, you know, everything pretty much to sustain the body, I guess, you know. During Katrina, there were a number of grocery stores that closed. I mean, Circle Foods is, is a, you know, a store that was heavily flooded. That's the iconic image we have, not just of the food environment, but of what happened with Katrina. Pretty much from the ceiling to the floor, uh, it was, everything was gutted out, everything was destroyed. All we had was a shell of a building with a lot of debris and trash inside. It deteriorated for everybody. There was an immediate drop in access to supermarkets. Over 50% of supermarkets closed from, from one year to the next. That's really depended a lot if you look at the map of New Orleans. So if you're looking at the, the areas by the riverside that didn't get much flooding, they came back right away. But if you're thinking about areas like, you know, in, in the bottom of the bowl or in, in parts of the city that are, uh, were, were, had worse flooding, um, then it's a different story. When we measured the food environment in 2007, it was, it was definitely uh, the situation in African-American neighborhoods was worse than it was before Katrina. Could we bring back healthy food to New Orleans in a way that's not just bringing back the stores in the same places, that was part of it, but could we bring them back in a way that, that we would reduce inequities in access to healthy food? The challenges of reopening grocery stores post-Katrina were multifaceted. So first we didn't have the population, people weren't here. If you think about the grocery store business to begin with, that's, that's part of the challenge. The grocery stores operate on a very thin margin, so there, there's not a lot of profit in them, which means that um, they don't have, oftentimes don't have the resources to open back up. A lot, mostly it was finances and cleanup, you know, and trying to find a new distributor. So many years later, it was crazy. There were a number of organizations that were working on that that uh, banded together and fo uh, formed a group that eventually would become the Food, F food Policy Advisory Committee. FPAC is the New Orleans Food Policy Advisory Committee, and it is a cross-sector group of um, nonprofits, businesses, community members, individuals, farmers, um, people working on the food system that are working together to shape public policy um, with a lens of equity and inclusion. Our biggest success, obviously, was the Fresh Food Retailer Initiative, which um, between the city and the Food Trust out of Philadelphia gave $13 million to food businesses to um, stock fresh, healthy food in under-resourced neighborhoods. By this Fresh Food Retailer Initiative, um, which had made it possible for operators in underserved areas to get low-interest loans to open uh, a store or to modify an existing store. And then from 08 to 2011, it took until there was actually funding for that Fresh Food Retailer Initiative. It took another three years before some of the stores were beginning to open up. And Circle Food, as I mentioned, opened up in 2014. Uh, they were one of the grantees of the Fresh Food Retailer Initiative. Historic Circle Food Store will reopen its doors after being closed for nearly nine years following Hurricane Katrina. So the food environment has improved tremendously since Hurricane Katrina, and it's improved not just overall, but it's also improved in, if we look at inequities in access. The changes that need to be made in New Orleans grocery stores are 
probably dependent upon what our population will demand. If you look at the map of New Orleans uh, food stores, and um, you'll see that there's, there's supermarkets, but there's lots and lots of corner stores. And those corner stores typically don't carry very much in the way of produce. There's a typical corner store might just have a couple of onions or a couple of tomatoes that don't look very good. That could be their whole produce section, for example. And so I think the next wave, the next effort on this area is going to be how do we make those corner stores um, better stocked in, in healthy fruits and vegetables. There will always be a need, I think probably everywhere, um, for more projects that um, increase food access. You know, the grocery business is hard. It's, it's really hard. It's changed the everyday process, you know. I gotta keep going. That's it. Come shop with me.